Yo, what's happening, boys and girls? How the devil are we? It has finally happened. He's arrived. The king of the Inhumans, Mr. Black Bolt himself, has just dropped. And it's about time we unlock him, level him up, and see some gameplay, don't you think? That's exactly what I think as well. Now, to unlock him, he's going to be available for five days, or four days, 23 hours, at this point in time. You're going to need all of the Asgardians up to gear... Uh, well, don't know about gear tier, but at least five stars all right so you need at least five stars on all of the asgardians sif loki thor hella and heimdall all right they're the five that you need to unlock black bolt and he is looking pretty damn awesome but without further ado let's get into it and before we do you know the drill if you like it over here dig the content all that good stuff hit that like button leave a comment down below and if you want to see more content like this hit that follow button as well Right, with that subscribe button even. Right, let's do this. Black Bolt Tier 1. Tier 1 is the only one that you don't need the actual team for. They will give us whoever we need. Let's uh, let's have a little look. Quick, we're getting some serious strange energy readings that need your attention. Fun energy readings more of a reads Richard thing, sir. Da, 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 da. We'll skip all that. No one really reads it, do they? Do they? Let me know if they do. Uh, right, so we've got Black Bolt. We've got Yo-Yo in there as well, pretty damn sweet. We've got Quake on, obviously, Miss Marvel carries the Inhumans tag. But let's be honest, no one's going to really use her on that Inhuman team. Right, loading on in. I'm really excited, guys. I don't know about you. If anyone is unlocking him, let me know down in the comments below how you got on. But I'm, uh, I'm double excited about unlocking him today. There he is. We see him. Right, how can we help? Where's the problem? In humans, your uh, stand against Ultimus is futile. Those I do not destroy will be converted. I very much doubt that. All right, Black Bolt is an inhuman blaster who uses devastating powers of his voice to deal massive damage to his enemies. Black Bolt's passive ability built deals damage to enemies the first time their health drops below a certain percentage. Keep in mind, guys, that reads the first time it drops below a certain percentage. In addition to dealing damage, Black Bolt's passive ability prevents any character he defeats from being revived, including Ultron, obviously excluding um, Dark Phoenix, because Dark Phoenix is a summon, not a revive. Right, we use Yo-Yo, hit them all there. Right, they drop below 25%, so we are then going to hit that. Let's speed these out. Oh, you know what? I actually want to see Black Bolt's animations real quick. So uh, we will happy slap them guys. Ding. Black Bolt's going to take them out. Right. Attack primary target for 500% damage. That's crazy, man. Uh, attack the primary target if it has a slow flip negative effect on self. Let's just do that. And that's going to drop him below 25%. And boom. He has dropped Ultron. Okay. So keep in mind, all these Minervas as well doesn't really bother us whatsoever. Because they can't bring anyone back. Right, Yo-Yo's massive AoE. We'll just do Quake's massive AoE. There we go. Let's do the old uh, uh, ding on Thanos. And right, let's um, attack all enemies for 380% damage. I'm really intrigued to see this. Let's do it. That's a pretty sweet animation. And he drops below 25%. So he gets a massive hit. And they think it's all over. It is now. You're it's bad. Ultimus is both Ultron and Thanos attacking. Right, let's do it. Let's skip this. I don't want the video to be three days. Let's uh, let's skip this and I want to unlock him badly. My Asgardians are absolute beasts. So I'm not worried about not unlocking him. I've got to be honest. You guys know my thoughts on not making the Asgardians farmable. Uh, I definitely would have liked to have seen that going, but it is what it is. Hopefully, there's still time before the event ends. Hopefully, 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 we can see at least a couple of them being farmable. I wouldn't be surprised if maybe Heimdall doesn't become farmable, stays in like premium orbs, but Hela goes into like the the um, the war store. Wouldn't surprise me in the slightest. All right, as we already know our animations on this one, we will speed it up. Let's uh, ping that a little bit quicker. We've got Black Bolt on the firm as well. I'm going to... You know what? I don't really need to go for Minerva first anymore because of the way that he can't bring anyone back. And it's only if he defeats them though, right? It's only if he defeats them. So at the moment, that could technically 
Uh, that Thanos could be brought back technically. His animations are pretty cool. I can't wait to gear him up. I've been farming bio gear now for like a while. A while. I can't I can't gear tier 12 him. But I think I might be able to gear tier 10 level 65. And hopefully 6665 on his abilities. Hopefully. Gold for me. I've been I've been hoarding for a while, you know. I'm not really that great at, at organising things, but I've been hoarding for a little while now. A hot minute. Loading into this next battle. Feeling good. Feeling like we're definitely getting him. And then maybe we'll try him out in an arena fight? I don't know. Depending on what, uh, what level we can get him into, right? Oh, I'm loving that attack. Especially if he was a little bit more powerful. Once they fall below 25%, that's huge, guys. That is absolutely ridiculous. Big, big damage going down there right now. We've got about 270k Asgardian team, so I'm genuinely not worried about these nodes whatsoever. You would be able to do this on much, much lower teams, in my opinion. But every time they've released a legendary, this is probably the best shape I've been in, like, power-wise. <laughs> like, even on the seven-star unlocks, this could be the best shape I've been in power-wise. Loading on in. God, do I just want him now? So yeah, to be fair, like there's no there's no one that I can really say, yeah, take this person out first or that person out first. Because honestly, these guys are just so overpowered for what we need. It, it's pretty crazy. We're going to take out Deadpool first. Again, no massive reason for that. Um, we can probably take out most of them just with Hella's special. Black Bolt then finishes them off. That's crazy good. Can you imagine anyone unlucky enough to survive like a Phoenix ult just gets met with Black Bolt? Boom! ta -da. All right. Dun, dun, dun. I mean, these guys are so weak they can't even kill Greg. There we go. Greg will sacrifice himself. How about that? I can't remember which uh, which legendary it was that I didn't think I was going to be able to get. Whoa, that was that was close. But this one we we've guaranteed got. What stage is that? Like three or four now? We, we're sailing through this. I just can't wait to get him. As I say, level sixty five, six 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 five. Hopefully, get it ten. Should bring him up to at least 40k, right? Right, so this is going to be the unlock 5 uh, star. We cannot progress any further after this, unfortunately. I'm still missing Heimdall and Sif and Hela. God, I only just squeezed by with Hela, and I'll put my hands up. I spent a lot more money than what I wanted to to unlock Black Bolt. A lot more. I'm so excited. Let's do it. Else, some bloodstone in there. Boom, boom, boom. All right, we'll start on Mordo. Mordo's hill block really winds me up. All right, so we've got quite a bit of a, a supernatural team here going on. I like that. Not going to be enough, though. Not going to be enough to stop us. Look at him coming back in with that. I should have probably saved that hammer throw, but whatever. Take out Ghost Rider next. I don't want to be killing these guys and taking uh, AOE damage as a result of it. Although getting that Thor charged up would be quite nice. He's one, he's one charge away from ruining their day. AOE attack on everyone. Uh, let's attack them all again. 
I feel like that AoE attack is just going to be naughty. It's going to be like pure naughtiness. There we go. That's them out of the way. Three more. Well, three more left now. Uh, we got Ghost Rider again. We'll take him out. And as you can see, with the, the Asgardians, they basically just continuously self-heal. So they're very rarely under any danger. They've got such a nice, like, ability there. Uh, we're just golden, man. We're just absolutely golden. But looking at the power of these enemies, most of these enemies are level uh, 60s and 20Ks, roughly. So that'll give you an idea of what you need to be able to take on this node. Honestly... 180s should be more than enough. More than enough. But I'm pretty sure everyone that has got the Asgardians to 5 star at this point in time has seen how amazing they are and already put in a ton of resources in it. Right, let's get Black Bolt and let's level this bad boy up. Quarter of a million to unlock him. You know it makes sense. And he's already got four red stars on him. Oh, this is going to be so spicy. Right. It's gonna be all my gold. It's gonna be all my gold. I'm gonna be so skinned. Can we, can we, oh, pushing it now? Pushing it to 70 would be too much. Too much, especially because we've got to gear him as well. We're, we're taking him to 66. Take him to 66. 3k power straight away. Right, we're gonna equip all for nothing. Let's see how far we can take this bad boy up. 3172. Equip all for five and a half. Now, if you guys want. Um, in my Discord, there is actually a, um, a link or an infograph if you need to know exactly what gear we're putting into him. There's a hell of a lot of bio gear in there, without a shadow of a doubt. So if you guys do want, the Discord link is down below. Uh, it's under the infographic uh, page to just work out how much gear is going to go into this guy. And it is a lot. That advanced phosphate, dear, oh dear, oh dear. That is going to be the main reason that we can't take him all the way up to gear tier 12, unfortunately. Right, level six already. Oh, he's gonna be a beast. No messing around. Look at that. Boom. Gear tier eight done. Gear tier nine done. The hoarding is paying off. Nine three. Oh, right. This is where we fall apart. So I normally go. The way that I run it is that one, then that one for the extra health. And then we're going to start working on where we need damage. So normally damage is there. There. And then this is where we're going to fall short on. And again, it was the advanced phosphate. Exactly like I thought it would be. Um, oh, it's such a pain there's not that many nodes to, uh, to farm it from. So right, level 66, gear tier 10. He is 9k. 9.9k. Uh, Let's call him 10k. Um, and then we are going to smash in... Some abilities. Level five, level six, and we're going to hold there. And we're going to go. So the the tier fours that I would really look at doing is his passive, without a shadow of a doubt, and probably his basic as well. His basic looks really, really spicy. Um, I think he might be one of them characters that eventually gets absolutely everything tier four. Uh, however. I haven't got that many tier 4 abilities, unfortunately. I've only got enough for the one, and I think from looking at his kit, his passive is going to be where it's at for me. But we have taken him to 6661. That's 37k at five, uh, 4 red stars. Look at the uh, the amount of damage there to Villain Tech. That's going to be ridiculous. And there we go. 50% damage plus 100% extra damage. Uh, if that is that, it's going to be 400% damage to the likes of Ultron. Uh, that, that, whoa, it's insanity. Uh, plus, gain 20% max health and in human allies, gain an extra 20% max health. On summon, en enemy summon, apply disrupt, plus clear three positive effects on the summoner. Like, there, there's just so much going on with this. It's absolutely insane. What we'll probably do is a, a complete character breakdown at another point. But rolling at this point in time, five star, level 66, gear tier 10, four red star. He is. 41k 41 and a half k that is enough for me to go you know what let's give him a little whirl in um 
in arena. You know what? Let's give him a little whirl in arena. We're going to be going up against some big guys, right? But, but, villain tech. I need to see it. I need to see it. We're going to do it. We're going to take out uh, Vision, and we are going to find him. Where is he? Where is he? 40 K, right? 41K. Be the one. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, can you imagine? We do all that, and then we lose our first battle with him. We are punching up about 40k, right? And this is an arena fight, so anything can happen. But I want to see what happens. <laughs> I think Quake will be going really well in here as well. I feel like Quake's going to be in a lot of arena shards all of a sudden. Um, we're going to have to see how it goes, but oh, let's see how much damage this bad boy hits for. What I'll do, guys, is probably over the next couple of days, we will do another video um, with the um, with the idea of showing pure inhuman gameplay. Probably release that at some point tomorrow. All right, we're going to clone Dark Phoenix, obviously. Um, what does this do again? Attack primary target, 500% damage. This target is unavoidable. We're probably going to have to ping this already, then. Depending on how much... Oh, wow. Yeah, that, that just deleted us. That just deleted it. Don't kill him off, though, before I get to see more stuff. <laughs> Don't do it. Right, that's pretty nice, because we're going to get the big blast on that. We're going to attack all. That did not hit. That did not hit Phoenix. What happened there? Ah, maybe because that's the first, not the first time she's dropped below that that twenty-five uh, percent. Although it's a summon, right? It's a summon that should have actually killed him. That should have killed Dark Phoenix. I'm not having it. I'm not happy. <laughs> dear oh dear oh dear. First whale well problems, baby. Um, right. There we go. We're gonna die now as a result of that. No Black Bolt's still alive. What? Black Bolt's got some health, baby. Kill him off. Ah, oh, such a shame that we didn't kill Ultron with Black Bolt. That would have been so nice. That would have been so nice. But he definitely helped that. Uh, he definitely helped that team out, man. He definitely helped that team out. He will be staying in my arena team for the foreseeable future, and we're going to be leveling him up even more. 66. He's looking all right. 41k power. We've got the unlock. You know what you need to do to unlock him. Let me know your thoughts on Black Bolt. Let me know if you managed to unlock him. If you did, I want to know what power you got him up to and what team are you running him with at this point in time. As I say, guys, I'll probably do another video with a ton more in human gameplay. Uh, tomorrow, we're going to pair him up with Quake. We're going to try some crazy-ass teams with him. So stay tuned. Hit that subscribe button if you want to see more. You know the drill. But until next time, do me a massive favor, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. You want to talk to me in person, you can leave a comment down below. Join the Discord or find me over on my Twitch page, which is www.twitch.tv forward slash Shanksy. But until next time, you take it easy.